let us consider the fourth problem of the first assignment we have a cylinder having an initial volume of 3 meter cube containing 0.1 kg of water at an initial state of 40 degrees Celsius Now the water is then compressed in an isothermal quasi equilibrium process until so the final state so let us call this as state A the final state B is isothermal and a quality of 0.5 we have been asked to, to treat water as an ideal gas so let us first see what the initial state is let us first make a judgment as to whether state A is superheated or something else so T1 TA is equal to 40 and the SP wall at A is equal to the volume divided by the mass where the volume is equal to 3 and the mass is equal to 0 0.1 ok so we have this so x at a equal to quality of steam T equal to TA and V equal to SP wall A. So X is equal to 100, which indicates that the initial state is superheated vapor. In that case, if this is the PV diagram, suppose this state A. Now this process is isothermal so in the PT plane you must go along an isotherm in the PV plane we have an isothermal process and it is compressed so if the volume so during compression the volume will decrease so rather rather than having this point over here we'll have the point somewhere along here suppose so the isotherm looks something like this so we will reach point say 1 in between and then this will be the isotherm the final x is given as 0.5 so this is state B so along path A to 1 we have an isotherm which follows the classical ideal gas because in the problem we have been asked to assume the water vapor to be an ideal gas so process A to 1 ideal gas process 1 to B is isothermal but because we are in the saturated region we have to consider it as an isobaric process So the work done from A to 1 will be following an ideal gas equation. The work done from 1 to B is simply an isobaric equation. So let's proceed. So we find the intermediate state. So this is state A intermediate state 1 that is equal to T one is equal to T A and X one is equal to one point zero. So the specific volume at one is equal to the volume of steam at T equal to T one and X equal to X one. Similarly 
final state two. We have T B is equal to T A and we have X B is equal to zero point five. S P wall B is equal to volume steam at T equal to T B and X equal to X B. So the work done between states one and so, so for the process A one we treat the fluid as an ideal gas that is why the work done from A to 1 is equal to the mass times the gas constant which is 8.314 times 10 raised to 3 divided by 18 because the molecular weight of water is 18 times the temperature which is equal to T A plus 273.16 times the log of specific volume at 1 divided by specific volume at A. This is the standard result for an isothermal process M R T log V2 by V1 standard result. Similarly for the process 1 to B simply have W1 B is equal to mass times the pressure or steam at T equal to T1 X equal to X1 times SP wall B minus SP wall 1 as simple as that the total work done is equal to WA1 plus W1 B Let's see what we obtained. So the total work done is equal to ah. So we have made a small mistake. We have made a small mistake. The mistake is a very common mistake, which is done in ES. The work done that we evaluated from this formula did not make use of any inbuilt functions. So this energy reported was in joules. While this work done is reported in kilojoule because this pressure is in kilopascal. That is why we must divide this by 1 e 3 to convert it into kilojoules. And then we can simply add. Total work done is equal to minus 13.42 kilojoules.